Okay. Welcome to the first official game on, boys. of uh, SDL, Siege Diversity League, and uh, we're playing on Villa here. It's a game between Team Sentinel and Team LRX, and uh, we'll see how this one turns out and see what Team LRX is going to start us off with a ban. Start off with the Blackbeard ban on Villa. See what Team Sentinel is going to go for on the attack side. I'm going to go with the Thatcher ban. So that means Montang is on the board. As well as Maverick and all the other hard breachers. See what Team Sentinel is going to ban on the defensive side. Can go with Echo. It's pretty typical play. Get that intel off the board. Although Valkyrie is a very strong operator on Villa. We'll see what um how Team LRX is going to end off our bans. With a Kavira. Let's get right into it. See what our operator selection is going to be for round one of the first official game here. Right away, we've got the Smoke Legion Alibi coming out. Alibi, an interesting play, but I'm sure I'll be able to make it work. As they bring the Ying and the Gridlock. The Gridlock going to be great for map control. Of course, got to bring the Buck to get the vertical control. As well as Senpai on that IQ play. They opt for a second Hard Breacher instead of the Ying. As there's no six picks on the defensive side. Looks like they're going to be running a two roamer setup. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. There they go. Games aviator first. See what kind of defense they're gonna go for. Pretty base reinforcements going down. So uh, let's see what Alibi is gonna be doing here in prep phase with her pyramid or uh, prismas or prisms. Sorry. As. Almost shooting the vigil there. He <laughs> got a little close, but ultimately getting that drone there from good luck. Five seconds remaining. See where the attackers are gonna be pushing from. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. So I can only imagine they're gonna be going for that uh pretty base wall, but will they send Thermite or Habana to do that or will they send both? We'll find out here in a moment. Is Alibi gonna be trying to open up that door right away, Mag dumping it? Thermite going straight to roof. So it doesn't look like Thermite's going to be the one going for the main wall. Actually, repelling back down. As, um... Oh my lord, the Habana pellets get shot into Thermite's back. Very unfortunate losing those Habana pellets. Nobody really contesting this study. They have a good smoke strong set up on 90, however. As it looks like downstairs, Alibi is going to be picking one off, but at very low HP. As, um, Travis will be getting a kill upstairs here through what I can only assume was the kill hole. Upside down repel, very good angle. As, uh, Jaeger holding that hunting vault, not very aggressively peeking it. As, uh, it looks like the res is going to get off. Alibi is rotating towards red. Lost a lot of HP and ultimately going to lose the HP trade there. Hibana repelling in. Needs to be wary of every angle here. As, um... Smoke just kind of peacefully holding this 90 hall, but looking to rotate around and maybe... Get a pick onto Hibana, but she's fine. As Defender's not really taking many aggressive angles right now. Oh, he was holding the door, but he's gonna get distracted by those Hibana pellets going down. Hibana is pushed into sight, watching the left hunting vault door. Sees Jaeger, neither of them... Seem to have landed shots. Alibi and Vigil rotating back in are going to take out the Hibana. Very unfortunate. As Vigil also going down. As now we have Gridlock in a pretty 
in a position where she can't really capitalize on a refrag at all, where nobody really can on either side, as it uh, looks like Buck's going to be pushing in here from 90. I cannot go first person again, unfortunately, but... Well, uh, looking at a little third eye view of what goes down here. As we can see, we got a three-way push coming down. IQ is going to die over here from the smoke in 90. Smoke low, though. Buck gets a pick. One last one rotating. Hunting vault takes down one plant going down. It's a 1v1 situation. Jaeger versus the gridlock. Peaks the Abana hole and the Jaeger will ultimately clutch that round for them. Whoopi going to be getting the final frag down on the gridlock and going to be going for the defuse here. As, um, what a round from Whoopi. Holding that hunting vault with his life and getting three frags while doing it. Ultimately winning his team the round. Very solid play. As a strong defense to start the game off from LRX. Hopefully they can carry that momentum into the next round. Is that Vigil Alibi duo coming out again? Never mind, we're gonna see switch to Clash and still a Vigil. Very interesting. Is also a Rook play. No hard breach denial and statuary could be a problem, especially with that Ubana play and the Thermite coming out. It also looks like there's very little vertical potential for the defense here, as uh, Senpai is known to take advantage of going below with that IQ scanner. And taking out a lot of the gadgets. If there is no vertical hold, he will take advantage of that fully, I'd expect. Let's see what kind of setup they're going to be going for here. It appears to be a pretty standard one. Everyone making sure to get that rook armor, as always. Located by attack. Uh, Hibana wisely saving that drone on red stairs. Ten seconds to insertion. Time for Let's see what the attack's gonna be going for Five here. Go. Very default setup. Wonder where Alibi has those prisms to Attackers trick the attackers or she's keeping them in her pocket to um use later on in the round. But um Let's see what kind of push they're going to go for on Balcony. IQ droning up below right away, trying to take advantage of that very little vertical play. Same with Zofia. Right away, Thermite going to be going for the drone work, as he should. As it appears, there is two holding on the bathroom. They're both looking to take advantage of bathroom window to cut off that rotate as now I can only assume that Thermite's going to be going for an execute on main wall Al by pushing up taking lots of damage as Rook's going to get a pick in astronomy gridlock pushing all the way up into bathroom as you can only imagine Thermite's getting the wall in a matter of time IQ and Zofia holding blow absolutely no resistance down there Thermite's feet are peeking out from behind that wall, and nobody is uh, taking advantage of that. Rook holding astronomy well. Alibi is going to be holding this middle column, taking aggressive peaks with their low HP, hoping to get at least one shot. But no, Thermite will take down t Turtle, as Urban also going to be getting a pick. Senpai gets a pick, I can only assume coming up from below. Could not go first person again. I'm sorry. You guys stick with me here with this uh, glitch. As it looks like there is a plant going down. Only two defenders left alive. Vigil off site. Rook not in a position to stop this plant. Vigil will get a trade off in 90 though. Still full HP the two defenders. So they might be able to do a successful retake. Rook not peeking anything too aggressive. As uh, it looks like Zofia is going to be holding... So this Vigil cannot rotate back, and it's going to leave it up mostly to the Rook here in Astronomy. Looking to rotate towards Wall, as I don't believe Thermite is aware of this, but there is Gridlocks there, so it does not exactly matter. He will be pushing up aggressively, however. Does not know that Urban is on his right, and what a round from Urban and the Thermite of Weather. Successful execute, successful plant down, and successfully held it. 
as that round will be going to Team Sentinel, making it a 1-1 game here on Villa. And they're going to go right back to that trophy statue area, hoping to adjust to uh, Team Sentinel's attack that they had last time and see what they can do differently. As uh, Travis, seeing they had very little vertical resistance, is going to take advantage of that and go a buck here. As the vertical wasn't as important as you think because it had no hard breach defense, but it did still come in handy as now they have a pulse in Fuda. And we're going to see how they're going to be able to flush him out from downstairs. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Team Sentinel's strengths in the scrim the other day against Abyss had to be that vertical play and that vertical control they had over them. We'll see if that could also be another strong suit again for them here in this match, once again on the same map on Villa. The alibi play of Turtle, a very 50-50 play. Um, hasn't got any frags yet, but uh, hopefully looking to cash in on it soon. As expected, Pulse is already below, but there is a drone there from Zofia, wisely saving it for that take downstairs. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Um, it looks like Alibi is going to be going below as well. And let's see what kind of push Team Sentinel will be going for. As, as expected, Zofia and IQ going to go for an aggressive push on that laundry door. Pulse has reinforced it off, and little do they know that. As uh, Alibi here in bathroom, he's not going to be breaking that window. He's going to get the pick onto Urban. What a shot coming down from Turtle. As that Alibi play finally coming to fruition for them, and that is Diffuser down, but it's going to be easily recoverable by the buck here in a moment. Make sure to drone out that master bedroom. Let's check out what's going on in the vertical play. Still two minutes left on the round. They have plenty of time to do their drone work. IQ going to be looking to push up on this pulse as Senpai, their main fragger potential, sees the pulse, takes shots, both of them, put it down to a one tap, Senpai also pretty weak, as there is trades going down upstairs, in the la and the last one alive is going to be Thermite, as LRX is going to be absolutely dominant here, and we're going to see where Thermite's at, and uh, I cannot go into first first, and I just, it's the worst times I tell you stream, but... It looks like the Pulse is not going to get the Nitro. Nobody's going to be pushing his Master, but Maestro's going to know exactly where he's at thanks to those cameras and the lack of denial on those. As it looks like he's going to be going for the peak. Is there any flank coming through? Does not appear so. Thermite so taking the rest of Angle on it, and Whoopi will end off the round for LRX with a kill onto Lemon. Well, what a dominant showing there that round from LRX, and what a shot from Whoopi to finish it off. As, um, Team Sentinel had that strong first round and, uh, seems to be struggling now. As right now, our top frags on, uh, Team Sentinel are Urban and Weather tied at three, and we have Whoopi on LRX just being dominant. Pretty base play. We're gonna see the Ash six pick to a Thermite, a popular theme for. Team Sentinel to uh, six pick to a second hard breacher. Falabi's going to be switching to a dock from Ambazi. As um, we'll see how this round turns out. They are back at Aviator Games, as that is now an available site again. Maestro's going to be going straight for that uh, cam spot to deny the point, uh, to deny the hard breach. Actually putting two in there, it appears. And really going for that hard breach denial. As uh, L by throwing that in the same spot that she did the other round, he <laughs> throws that one into Legion. Saving drones on balcony, the hard breaches are. Probably going to be doing that same default study push that they have been, or that they did the first round. Smoke doing that same 90 hold, which was very aggressive and effective at that. As we can imagine, Relax Senpai always going to be going for that vertical play. 
and Ivana and Thermite gonna be going for the usual wall. They know that's in a uh, prism right away. Take that out. Going for that upside down repel again. Nobody's gonna be peeking it. As that is something LRS have been very strong at, not peeking angles that are unnecessary this game. As a uh, Doc is peeking onto this gridlock though, sees the head of gridlock. Not gonna be able to get the pick, however. But is gonna do about 50 or so damage to her. And Doc seeing <laughs> this gridlock, quite the long gunfight we have here. Doc taking very minimal damage as it looks like. Gridlock has not completely abandoned the gunfight yet, but let's see what else is going on in study as the two Harbingers have pushed in. Senpai goes down downstairs. They still have that vertical control on the defensive side. Hibana going to be going for the flash onto Smoke and will be able to capitalize with a pick. Very unfortunate for um, the Smoke of Fuda. As I believe now I will not be able to go first person. I still can. Hallelujah. Legion rotating back into sight as Maestro is holding that hunting vault, but they are the last two alive on site. And you can imagine the attackers are going to get aggressive. As Thermite's getting that wall, one still roaming master side. There's no push coming from over there. As they're going to be looking to collapse in on them. They are not aware of this though. They have not done the drone work on 90. Travis will get the kill onto Legion. Doesn't know there's an alibi back there. Sees this corner overhead, not gonna see it though. Losing 50 health, bringing the playing ground is about equal. Whoopi gonna be taking down Urban. The plant's going down from weather. As we're just waiting on the inevitable now, as Alibi's gonna go down. Dominant take coming down from Team Sentinel, a very back and forth game. As they just took over sight so quickly once they seen the opening. And that's hard to stop when you're at a numbers disadvantage for Team LRX. It's so now going into round five. LRX going right back to the Aviator and games. And right, this time bringing that hard breach defense as they're going to have to get that. They're going to force the vertical control from Senpai to take the bandits off wall. Lemon will be six picking from a Capito to a Zofia. Most likely going to be helping with that vertical effort. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. As the same. Well, they don't have the uh, smoke anymore to put on that 90 hold, which was pretty important for them. Although it did get flushed easily by a stun grenade, as they have not had any ADSs or mines on the board yet this game. I don't believe so. You can only imagine Legion is going to be using his bandit batteries on these two main walls. As there will be the rotates being made. And uh, I'm not sure if Mozzie has acquired any drones yet this prep phase. Looks like she's Attackers just shooting them down while they can get that bomb. second wave of drones, maybe more with her pests. As now we can see Team Sentinel going to be looking to push up here. And we'll see what kind of take they're going to go for. Good luck going back to that same balcony. She had the gunfight with Doc last round. Senpai doing his drone work on the main floor. As now there is a clash holding that study door, which is going to make it a challenge. For any hard breach to happen, especially with the bandit charges. A very smart adjustment made by LRX. As um no defenders appear to be holding 90. Alibi downstairs. And they have four on the one side of the map. No master push either, so it doesn't really matter. As we're gonna see the fight go down, and Turtle's gonna take down Senpai with a nice shot on main door. Buck, however, is there to attempt a refrag, but there's not much refrag, but the impact hole comes open, and Travis will take down Turtle and gain that vertical control. He sees the clash. Not much he can do about it right now, as Buck does not have the nades. He does flash her, though, but flashing himself in the process. As in the corner, there was an alibi hiding as she trades out the thermite. Very unfortunate for them. No more hard breach possibility, even if they wanted it. 
as Rook waiting for the bait onto the buck here in 90, but it doesn't look like they're going to be falling for it. The Clash will take significant damage down to about 28 health from that Zofia charge, and she will be looking to rotate back in OBJ. Rook going to get a pick down onto the trusty buck. As there is no flank effort happening right now, they are just holding the site as they need to. Sophia gonna be recovering this diffuser here. They don't have the hard breach down, so this is gonna be a very tough push if they want to push anywhere but bar. Yeah, that looks like exactly what they'll do, but unfortunately, he was not expecting that Rook to be in the corner of study. Withstanding, however, but Rook's gonna make it just in time as, let's see what Gridlock's plan is to push on the site here. It's gonna be very difficult. In a 1v3 with the Clash. As she does down the Clash, however. Knows one with study side. Gets peeked by the Bandit. Takes him out. Urban in a 1v1 situation against the low HP Blue Sky. Way to bring it back. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. Watching for that rotating on 90. He does have his grid locks down, however. Rook is all the way downstairs. She could go for a plan if she had Diffuser. But Diffuser is all the way on the other side of study. And she needs to make a push for that immediately. She knows he's coming... She doesn't know he's coming red, but Rook going to play time here and make sure that Urban will have to go for plant. He's watching the doorway, however. Will she be able to get a plant down? Hits him through the smoke, but he doesn't know, and Blue Sky will clutch up the round. What a clutch attempt from Urban as he almost brought back that 1v3 to his right into his home and just dominated it. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. Urban got left in that 1v1 there and couldn't capitalize due to the time situation. Top frags on each team right now. We have Travis going 6-4. And, and on Team LRX, Blue Sky and Whoopi are tied at 5 frags apiece. As the last defend round for LRX here. Um, at a disadvantage, 2-3. Going to be looking to bring this at least even going into the next cycle. As Fuda, 6 picking off of that Vigil onto the smoke, and the Montang, 6 picking to a Zofia. Attackers need to locate As this is for the bomb. first win in SDL's regular season. And we'll see who's going to take it. As, uh, right now, LRX is looking strong, but you never know. The tides can turn at any time. But this is a crucial round for Sentinel to win. If they want a good chance at winning this game, going down 4-2 on a defense cycle is not... is I mean, going down 4-2 is not preferable on the end of a cycle. But after all, it is attack, so... Maybe they are a stronger defending team. Five seconds left. Smoke has that deployable shield in the doorway of Master Bedroom. Probably going to be holding that. And so let's see what the attackers are going to be doing to start this round off. Obviously taking out default cam. Smoke appears to be making vertical holes, as do they have any vertical presence down in kitchen? It does not appear so. Should have a pretty dominant take down there if there's no resistance, but you never know. There might they might find a way to as smoke has rotated down and alibi is also downstairs. I stand corrected on their vertical hold. As it appears, um the lock's gonna peek the door, knows that's an alibi prism. Senpai going to be taking out that smoke early round, a big asset for the late round, take it out very quickly from Senpai's, that should be almost total vertical control, depending on where the alibi is, which appears to not be anywhere close. As Hibana is already all the way up in astronomy, Travis, an absolute madman, pushing straight through the site, sees one, takes him down, that's blue sky off the board, all the way up in statuary. There is no resistance coming down here as he's going to get a pick onto Falabi. What a play from Travis. Pushing through the site at will as there is still an alibi holding down this trophy. Gets taken down by the Zofia. 5v1 situation.
What a dominant showing from Sentinel here. This game is just back and forth. I can't go first person. Whoopi will get the pick on down onto Travis Tot, but it's not looking very promising for him right now. As he will go down to Urban. Travis just pushing through the site at will. No resistance. And he will ultimately be the deciding factor in that round, gaining pretty much four rooms of control for his team, as it is all evened out at 3-3, switching cycle. Team Sentinel, a uh, very vertical playing team going Aviator Games, going to be opting for the Will Mine instead of the Jaeger play. I'm assuming they're going to use that mute to deny the hard breach, as well as drones. And the Goyo play coming out from Travis, which could be very interesting depending on how he's used. Never mind, that smoke will 6th pick to a Kaid to get the walls. As uh, Thatcher is banned here, making it a tough task to get almost any hard breach in. Attackers need to locate and defuse but we'll see how they, they will can. play to take this round to the advantage as the attackers. Castle going to be a good play on almost every side on this map as Team Sentinel did bring a castle a lot in the scrims on a villa. Bringing a castle on almost every side, I believe. We'll see how Goyo uses his shields as well. Um, see what he uses them on, more of a plant denial spot or what his plan is. As it appears he's going to be putting them top red stairs to uh, deny that push. And the mute right behind it to deny the drone out of that situation. And also putting one on back red stairs. Now let's see what the attackers are going to be going for this round. Thermite's most likely going to go for main wall and probably have one other with them. And you have to wonder who's going to be going for the vertical control on LRX here. As it's going to probably most likely be the buck and maybe one other accompanying him. As um, Sledge using holographic taking peeks onto study door. Just pre-firing it, nobody there right now. Nobody really in the vicinity of study except for the Goyo holding the main stairs. Which is going to be a tough task to deal with without uh, getting that vertical control quickly. Which bucks shall, as there is no one down here to prevent that. Except for, obviously, that Goyo. It's going to be pushing right through. Obviously, Goyo is not going to push over for a flank on that. But, the people from study are going to be very careful about their attack. As, um, Attackers Goyo on the main bomb. stairs, I cannot walk on to. But, uh, Buck gonna be taking the peek onto him, get some shots down onto him, but not much damage at all. Fuda takes some damage. Travis with the one tap onto Falabi, it sounds like. That must have been a crazy shot. As Sophia getting that study control right now. And Sledge looking to maybe peek that hunting ball, but Travis so deadly with that TCG in there. Down Senpai, I don't think he's aware of that. I don't think the attackers are aware of that at all. Zofia, of course, holding that 90. Fuda getting a pick. Travis on a double kill here. Pushing out. Watching that vault door. Close that up right away. That person on red stairs is pretty trapped. We'll be going to getting a pick down on the lemon at that 90 hole. As now it's just Whoopi and Fuda on the attacking side. As, um, Fuda going for the vertical control, and pretty much just holding sight except for Kaid here. He is behind a Goyo shield, so that could do some damage. He does take a lot of damage from the Buck from below, so he's just going to rotate back and play safe. As, um, Buck, 30 seconds left, has Diffuser. They're going to need to make a push happen, whether they like it or not, right here. As, uh, Zofia going to be going to... Push the doorway, obviously. Sees Kaid's head. And, wow. Doesn't hit the headshot. Urban very low, however. All up to Fuda. As he does take down one. And ultimately, Senpai's gonna shut him down to take round seven. Travis just absolutely having the game of his life right now. Going 10-5-7 rounds in. 
their top fragger as LRX's top fragger right now is Whoopi. Now, after that, <laughs> that hunting vault hold by Travis, getting the one tap and then another kill down, you can only imagine why, why fix it if it isn't broke, so... He goes right back to that Kaid play. Obviously, not a hard breach, and apparently, to absolutely squad wipe with that shotgun. As the Ash is going to six pick onto Montang, Blue Sky going for the Montang play, the first one we've seen all game. They bring a Wamai and a Jaeger, denying all of the throwables. Which is going to make things hard when you have two smokes and nine stuns on the board. And uh, no grenades to even break those. It's going to be very hard to take out any gadgets of Team LRX. Bomb located by attackers. Nice Kai, looks like he's going to be throwing that electric caught in the floor. you getting the jammers down, everybody getting their job done. Ten seconds left. Saving that drone on red. As um, Five seconds remaining. I can only imagine that the uh, Habana and Thermite are going to be going for the main the wall. And the they did not reinforce closet wall into bathrooms, so they're going to be looking to take advantage of that almost certainly. As Fuda is probably going to be their lone vertical player. He's going to be pushing over from Ruin Spawn. Sophia aggressively already repelling into balcony. Nobody's in study or anything to prevent that, but there is an Ella roaming on the red stairs, giving away her, pos giving away her position. So Thermite breaks the door. Over in Master, we have a pretty aggressive peek, probably from Wamai onto this Hibana. Or he's not taking it right now. Wanna see him, but can't land the shots. They don't have a pulse for Valkyrie below to, uh, Get the nitro down on to deny the hard bridge, but they don't need that per se with the Kaid on the wall and no Thatcher on the board. But I could imagine that Buck is probably no nope, Buck has not yet taken advantage of that vertical play. As um I actually have no clue where he's at. But um as we can see there's Thermite and Zofia pushing over from game side. Ella roaming below them might cause some problems on that side of the map as uh, Thermite pushing all the way up and Zofia sitting by those red stairs Ella's gonna be looking to rotate around as Elder will be getting a pick and pushing into statuary takes out the Kaid as well what a play from Elder getting that statuary control as now they're gonna do pretty much a retake as well my holding the astronomy desk not much he can do from that position as he will be traded out immediately, refragged, as now it's all down to that Wumai in the uh, astronomy. I cannot go first person. It looks like he's going to be seeing that Montang. There's a buck behind him. He takes him down. Waiting for that 90 push. Doesn't get it. Nobody peeking anything, as they shouldn't. So my just pushing right up and going for a defuse Montang right on him and Falabi will finally bring Lemon to his demise. Bringing this to four four all very competitive game. And really just dominant rounds from both sides. Is uh Fuda okay is my question. I didn't see him. All that he is not in the game, is he? He is. I did not see him all last round. He is out of the game. I don't know what we do in this situation. Is there is not a pause timer option? Um. I believe we're gonna have to do a rehost on this. If I'm not mistaken. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Um, I'm probably gonna have to. 
I need to get in contact with Team LRX here. Keep going. There's uh, no way. Okay, Fuda's back. I guess we're just going to play around without Fuda. <laughs> um, that's going to be a big detriment in a very competitive game for LRX. That's, um... That's unfortunate. I can't do anything to bring him back for this round. Uh, it sucks that that happens, but there's not much we can, uh, do about it here. So, I guess we'll proceed. Team Sentinel defending Trophy Statuary. Let's see what the attackers are going to do with four people, as they still do have a hard breacher. They're probably going to have to go the fragger route of this, though, and try to pick them off one by one. As, uh, Hibana going to be looking to push Master Bedroom Bandit holding the hole in that window. Travis, their trusty fragger, as he is going to be taking a lot of damage and can't do much about that. Bonnet peeking the window, pre-fires, no shots landed, Bandit will save his life. As they have the hold on 90 pretty sturdy, there's not going to be much of a push going to be able to come from there. Um, it does appear Sledge is bottom red, but he's... Jaeger just gets pinched by Sledge and Ash, as now over in Astronomy, there's going to be a gunfight between Kaid and the Ash. I cannot go first person, <laughs> and there's a whole round left, and the whole round's left. I just hate that glitch so much, but Ashton going for vertical play, and pushing right back up the stairs, it looks like, repeaking it. Whoopi going to get a kill from 90, I can imagine. As Sledge is in box, they have a serious chance at this round, Bandit very low HP, peaking it. Drone comes in. As Bandit... Gets downed over by Master Bedroom. It's a 2v4 situation for the defenders. He's getting choked out. One's astronomy, one's bathroom. As it's just going to be a clash of the heads. A trade off of kills, I can only imagine. As Plant going down from Ash. Senpai gets a kill. Left in a 1v3 situation. Plant is down. Doesn't have much of a chance. Gonna go for retake. Taking down the Ash on 90. Two left in his way. Takes down one more. 1v1 situation against Falabi, who is in astronomy pushing towards Trophy. What will my be safe to defuse here is the real question, as Falabi is all the way over in um, astronomy. Shots go down. Falabi pushes up. He's not there anymore, but even if he gets the kill at this point, he would have to hurry to defuse her, as this is looking like a GR. And, yep, in LRX's way, as they are going to take the win with four people on their team on the attacking side, taking the 5-4 advantage and swinging the momentum in the direction. Whoopi still their top fragger, as Travis remains top fragger on Team Sentinel. As now they get to go back to Aviator Games. A very interesting sight this game has been defended and attacked differently by each team as that senpai play on the pulse was very effective in the scrim earlier this week and we can only imagine will be just as effective right here it has to be demoralizing losing to a 4v5 but I'm sure they're gonna be able to pull it together as a team Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. As let's see what kind of defense goes down here. Let's get in that castle play from Team Sentinel very strong. As they didn't have one last round and it resulted in a loss. Team Sentinel only has one set of barbed wire, however, which could be difficult to prevent entry with. Castle Castling off 90, seen that in the scrim earlier this week. Ten seconds left. As LRX now has the rounds advantage, and now left. has Fuda back. Someone who's been very helpful for the Attack vertical play, and has been, um, you know, hard to 
you know, when he gets off the board, somebody else has to go for that vertical, and he's been very important in that way. Bonner repelling on the balcony, Castle Barricade calling that out, saying he needs a soft reach, so I can only imagine the sledge will be coming adapt uh, aptly. Um, that's, <laughs> that's excellent that it's not going to lock onto that pulse down there as Sledge jumps in Art Studio. Not aware of the pulse's position down here, it appears, as um, it's all the way around in red. And taking shots from the pulse, he's going to push up and ultimately kill the Sledge. At no small cost, however, because he takes a lot of HP damage. And Goya's right there, and if he was holding that angle, he couldn't take advantage. He see... Oh, wait. <laughs> that's that's his teammate. My pardon, everybody. Oh, my lord. I am just on a roll today. As Whoopi pushing straight into 90, he knows that in a 5v3 situation, they need to get the frags, and they need to get them fast. Castle pushing the window. Blue Sky will get a kill downstairs onto... Senpai, which I could imagine was because of the pulse scanner being out and the IQ countering that. Quite the kill. As now down, bringing that bound to a 3v4. Castle all the way on Master. Goyo by box. As on site, they technically do have numbers if they wanted to flush in. As Kaid Travis so deadly with that TCSG getting the kill. As IQ looking to push up to his right from studying. Also keeping his eye on 90. Whoopi gonna get the kill onto Travis. IQ in this doorway taking out the barbed wire. I should alert them of the position. But it is down to a 2v3. Goyo across that hole. Could be so deadly. IQ firing shots down. They're still not aware of that Goyo's position. That could be their downfall. As Lemon will take him down. Left in a 1v3 situation. No first person. Jaeger and IQ. And Jaeger <laughs> wins in the pistol duel. As Lemon having quite the end of that round. As he hasn't gotten much going this game. But gets it going right there. Travis and Whoopi just having a frag battle. As Travis has shown his ability with that shotgun. But ultimately got taken down by Whoopi from 90. As he was in a position where he could be peaked from multiple places it's a 5-5 game as they bring that castle again this time Travis playing the castle and whether gonna be switching into the vigil and correct stand corrected it will be the Valkyrie but they do have an IQ to easily counter that as well as the Mozzie the mute and the polis IQ is going to be a huge factor this round as blue sky needs Defended. to make sure Protect he can utilize his attackers. Gadget scanner. This round is. We're gonna see the first round of this game on Kitchen. And as we'll see how. What kind of defense they'll go for. Uh, you can imagine the vertical presence is gonna be pretty strong. As in the scrims, they took Mute, Mozzie, and Castle all upstairs, as Mozzie's already heading his way up there. Castle castling off that laundry door. Doesn't look like they're gonna be doing exactly what they did in the scrim. Is bringing all the mute jammers upstairs. And it looks like it's just gonna be a Mozzie Castle hold upstairs, and the mute will stay on site. Attackers are moving to defuse a bomb. Um, the pulse play interesting on the site, as I mentioned in the scrim earlier this week, but it is very good for the intel, as well as having that Valkyrie and Mozzie. Looks like it's just Castle upstairs now. With that super shorty, as you can see, Buck and Zofia already going for an aggressive upstairs play, it looks like. Um, we see we have two on site, one on Astronomy, and two upstairs. Very interesting hold. Not going to be much resistance for the hard breach on this laundry wall if they want to get it. As Whoopi will take down Travis right away, the battle that these two are having as that's not complete vertical control there still is a mozzie in that astronomy but they'll see her on a drone the same on a drone and he will not have the intel of that so he does not know they know of his the whereabouts as whoopi in the bathtub and he flicks onto lemon what a shot from whoopi 
he is absolutely insane right now. As he has, as they, as now LRX has secured that vertical control, as well as laundry control, with Sledge and Hibana. We'll see how they use this vertical control to their advantage. Claymoring off the rotates. As Pulse playing over in window entrance. That wall, it appears, has been opened by a Hibana. Not sure. But, yes, it has been as Senpai will rotate through and pick up the kill on Sledge. Putting this at a 3v4. Hibana over by the window. And... IQ getting all the gadgets off site. Sophia looking to rotate down astronomy right about now. As I am not able to go first person for you. But there is a Valkyrie to her right, and I'm not sure that she is knowledgeable of this. As she won't be, and Valkyrie will get shots down, but there's an IQ there to back her up, as Valkyrie will have to retreat. Pulse still playing in square window. Rotates around through laundry. That wall was not hard reached. Whoopi gets a kill. It's down to just weather. And Fudo will finish off the round as Whoopi is just unstoppable right now. Taking the gunfights he wants and dominating the areas he wants to dominate. And Senpai really starting to step it up the second half of this game. But not to much prevail as of the current moment. It is now match point going into round uh, 12. Match point for the attackers here. LRX having, or more aptly to say, Whoopi just winning all of his gunfights whenever he wants to is allowing them to take control of the map where they need it. The Mozzie will get six picked off to a dock, and it doesn't look like the attackers will take any six picks. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Trophy and statuary. The site we've probably seen most today. With the Wamai well, holding that astronomy like he has the last couple times. They have the Maestro. They have a vigil probably roaming on the game side. And the smoke for that late round of Nile that they really have needed on this defense cycle. As we'll see if Team Sentinel can take this to overtime, or LRX will close it out in the first official game here. Attackers objective is to defuse a bomb. Let's see what the attackers are going to be going for as they spawn ruins, as per usual I would expect, as they do. Bringing Ash, Buck, and Zofia, three arguable entry operators, as well as Jackal. With that hard breach, it might be going for an aggressive push. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Not much resistance from defenders on this side of the map, it looks like. Where is this vigil at? He is holding kitchen side below. So not much of roam on 90 or anything. As I wonder if that will be taken advantage of. Because literally the side of the map is clear for a push. Looks like Jackal and Buck might be looking to do just that. As you can use the Ash Church to take out that Maestro Evil Eye, or uh, yes, Evil Eye, <laughs> Evil Eye, I believe. And uh, they're looking to take out the second one right away. Just get rid of all of that intel. And Ash just already in walk-in. Bana waiting for, to get the wall for what? I believe the impact trick, maybe? As yes, Maestro does have impacts and the top of the wall is open. There goes that Maestro cam. Taking a pre-fire onto the door, no one there. The answer. Nice walking wall now opened by the Hibana, or by the Ash, rather. Buck will be looking to take advantage of that 90 control, as well as Jackal. As it looks like they're going to converge onto site and probably very successfully with this kind of a push. My holding behind that shield. Not going to be able to stun him out because of how much 
Utility's gonna have down. Fuda getting a pick. Falabi takes him down. And takes down the Maestro. LRX just running through sight at will. As Smoke will go down. And the, that's the game. Flawless round to end it off for Team LRX. As Team LRX will take DW over Team Sentinel in the first official SDL game. And the top fraggers, Travis on Team Sentinel and Whoopi on Team LRX. As Team LRX is going to take the win in the first SDL game. I'm Wumbo, your caster. This has been SDL Official. I appreciate you guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in.